Hey everybody, this is Lucas here, and today, guys, we are going to talk about one of my favorite channels, Nickelodeon. This year, they are celebrating the 25th year that they've been doing animation. So, in case you're wondering, Nickelodeon started making cartoons in the early 90s, but the, the actual channel started in the late 70s. In the, like around the late 70s and early 80s, Nickelodeon started making live action shows. Like, for example, um, You Can't Do That on Television, where that show basically introduced what Nickelodeon is famous for the slime. Because, you know, it's all green and messy, you know, that's, that's what basically Nickelodeon is famous for all the messiness and stuff. But, but in the early 90s, Nickelodeon decided to take a step forward. Originally, Nickelodeon didn't want to do this because it would be a huge amount of money to, like, you know, risk. But, but it turns out, it was actually a, su a success. Because their cartoons are actually a huge success. Like, like, around when Nickelodeon started making cartoons, um... They start, like, the first cartoon, the first Nicktoon, or Nicktoons, as they call it, the first Nicktoon that they ever made was Ren and Stimpy, which is actually one of my favorites. And, and then later on down the road, they made shows like Rocko's Modern Life, The Rugrats, Hey Arnold, um, Oh, Spongebob, that shows a classic, by the way. Um, what else? Oh yeah, the Angry Beavers, Cat Dog, and all that, you know, but, but I was born in 2000 when Nickelodeon started becoming popular with their cartoons, but the show that I got into the most is actually not made by Nickelodeon, but it was actually made by Nick Jr., well, basically, Nickelodeon is, like, in the name, but I guess it counts, I guess. So, like, I got into Blue's Clues ever since I was a baby. And, alright, so basically how I got into Blue's Clues is, is, um, I was, like, having my first birthday party at McDonald's, right? And, and my mom gave me me a present, and it turns out there was actually a Blue's Clues tape in there, which it was called Blue's Big Musical Movie. Because, you know, she thought it was a great show to get me into, because, you know, I was a baby, and she thought that I would get into shows like that, you know. And, because, you know, back then, shows, shows like Blue's Clues were very popular. You know, shows like, uh, The Wiggles, Band Big Blue House, I mean, those, I mean, those are the shows that I got into, besides Blue's Clues, you know. I still like Blue's Clues back then, you know, I mean, I kind of got out of it, but, you know, I, I, I still remember it very well. Oh, and, um, excuse me, but, like, like, wiping my nose a lot, it's just that I have a runny, I have a runny I have a runny nose, it's been bothering me lately, you know, I mean, just kind of excuse me for that. So anyways, back to, I mean, basically what I'm talking about here is my history of Nickelodeon, like my experience with it, like how I got into it, you know, I mean, first it was Blue's Clues, but, but later on down the road, like, when I was like seven, when I was like seven or eight, my cousins, it, it got me into this show called Spongebob, which I'm pretty sure you all are familiar with that show at this point. And I got into this show, and it turns out, I actually like it. I, I, thought, I thought it had really funny characters, creative design, creative everything, you know? And, uh, until I started growing up, and I still watch this show, by the way, to this day. Until I started hearing about how the modern episodes started getting a lot of hate, and the classic episodes getting a lot of praise, you know. And, and yeah. 
mean. Oh, and uh, I almost forgot. I, I also got into Nickelodeon game shows because, you know, I mean, I mean that I mean that was a thing back then, you know, because, because you know I got into shows like uh, Double Dare, Double Dare Three Thousand, uh, Legends of Hidden Temple, which I recently just came out with a movie, um, which I thought was really good by the way. Um, what else? Oh yeah, and Figure It Out, Nickel K, Nickelodeon Guts. Um, all of what else? Oh, get the picture. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, I'm buying those keepers. Um, and yeah, yeah. Um, I mean that. Ba that's basically about it. You know, that's basically my history of Nickelodeon. I mean, it 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 all started with. With my, with, with the interest, with my interest in the show Blue Schools, even though it's not really a Nickelodeon show, it's basically a Nick Jr. show, but Nickelodeon is part of the channel, so I guess it counts. And then, like, later on down the road when I was seven, my cousins introduced me to Spongebob, which I thought was a really funny show. I thought it had funny characters, a creative design, uh, creative ideas for episodes, you know. And I also got in, had interest in Nickelodeon game shows, but I mostly watched them on Nick Guess until they deleted it and replaced it with another channel that I shall not mention. So yeah, uh, that's my his my, that's my history of Nickelodeon. I still think. Nickelodeon is a great channel to this day, even though, even though there have been, even though Nickelodeon has, I mean, I mean, Nickelodeon was like a huge success in the beginning, it was kind of falling apart later on, but then, and then as of now, Nickelodeon is starting to get back up on its roots, and hopefully it stays that way. I mean, Nickelodeon has been getting back up on its roots with shows like The Loud House and and Nick and Nickelodeon making SpongeBob great again. Now that the uh, creator of the show has returned after the second movie came out, because you know he said he was going to return to the show after the second movie came out, since he kind of found out that the that the show that he created wasn't doing very well, because you know, like a like after the first movie came out, he he thought he could trust his writers to make the show great again, but nope. The writers decided to make the show worse, so he decided to, to you know, like I don't know, fire the writers. I mean, I'm pretty sure some of the writers that made the show worse is still is still making SpongeBob to this day. You know, I mean. Let's hope the show gets back up on its roots. I mean, I kind of heard it's going to be cancelled, but... Because, you know, they're kind of running out of ideas, I guess. Which is kind of a reasonable reason, you know? I mean, I mean, basically, basically all that's on Nickelodeon nowadays is Spongebob, but kind of like 80% of the time, you know? So, yeah, that... I mean, even though I haven't talked about much with my history of Nickelodeon, but, I mean, I didn't watch Nickelodeon that much when I was little, but I started getting into Nickelodeon more later on throughout my childhood, when I was, when I was like seven, like, when, like, like I said before, when my cousins introduced me to Spongebob, and, and yeah, I mean, back then I, I still watched Blue's Clues, um, I, I started getting into other shows, like, uh, like, uh, The Wiggles, Band of the Big Blue House, and all that. I was mostly into Playhouse Disney back then, you know, until later on down the road I started getting more into Nickelodeon, you know, 
I mean, I still, I'm still very fond of Nickelodeon to this day, and, you know, maybe sometime in the future, maybe I'll make a review show about, like, 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 one series where I, where I make a, a, like, one series where I talk about good episodes of Nick shows, like, no matter what kind of Nickelodeon show, whether if it's, like, a Nickelodeon cartoon, a Nickelodeon sitcom, a Nickelodeon movie, you know, and, and also, and, and I can also make a series about, like, about bad episodes of Nick shows, about, like I said before, like, Bad episodes of Nickelodeon cartoons, bad episodes of Nick sitcoms, bad Nickelodeon movies, you know, something like that. I mean, I, I was really thinking about doing that sometime in the future. I mean, I mean, uh, let me know what you guys think in the, in the comments. And, and yeah, I mean, oh, and uh, before I go, I would like, I would like to wish Nickelodeon a a happy 25th anniversary to making cartoons. You guys are like the best at making cartoons. And, and hopefully, I mean, I mean, even though you're getting back up on your boots, let's hope it stays that way. So, pray for Nickelodeon, guys. Let's hope that Nickelodeon will become great again. As Donald Trump would say, make Nickelodeon great again. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.